a wonderful gentleman is getting ready to come before us. I wanted to uh, let Is there someone before me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's welcome Carrie and friends. <laughs> oh my goodness. I won't take this off for a second. Okay, we're going to have a little fun here. Oh, uh, anybody, anybody like riding horses? Anybody like riding horses? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this guy had this beautiful horse, but he needed to sell it because he had to raise some money to support Betty Tilly's ministry. <laughs> so he's going to sell his horse, so he put an ad in the paper. And this guy didn't live too far away, and he was looking to buy a horse. So it's like God's at work already. Already. Already, sister. So anyways, the guy looking to buy a horse looks at that ad and says, man, that looks like a kid I dig it. It says gospel horse. Oh. <laughs> gospel horse? He said, I've never heard of gospel horse. He calls the owner up and says, sir, I'm interested in buying a horse, and I see you're wanting to sell a horse, but it says gospel horse. Can you kind of explain that to me? Well, yes, sir, but why don't you come down and look at this beautiful horse, and I'll explain everything, everything to you. So he drove down and saw this beautiful horse. The, the mane was just flowing like Betty's mane. Flair, I mean, and then um, it was beautiful muscle tone, just like me. And the guy says, "Okay, beautiful horse, but explain this gospel, gospel horse. What do you mean by that?" And the guy says, "Well, here's the here's the key. For it to go, you got to say praise the Lord. For it to stop, you got to say Amen." <laughs> That's what the guy who wanted to buy the horse did, just laughing up a storm, saying, you're crazy. Well, he tried. So he got up on that beautiful horse, and he kicked it in the side, said, giddy up, and it just stood there. Uh-huh. And it just stood there. And he kicked it in the side again, he said, giddy up, and it just stood there, like, he ain't going to move me. Then he remembered what the owner said. Praise the Lord. And that horse just took off on a gallop, going faster and faster, just going faster. And it was getting, really just running away when he noticed there's a cliff up front. So he started pulling back on the reins, pulling back on the reins, going, whoa, whoa. And that horse just keeps going faster and faster, pulling back on the reins. And that horse just keeps going faster and faster. And that cliff is coming up close. And he remembers what the guy says. And he says, Amen. And that horse just stopped right there at the edge of the cliff. And he wiped his brow and said, Praise the Lord. <laughs> these are true, Brother Ray. True, Brother Ray. I think most of these were at the church he goes to, by the way. The sermon this morning, I just saw these. And, you know, we had these spiritual preachers today. The man, the singing's been awesome. And I just thought, I would share these uplifting and encouraging words with you. The sermon this morning, Jesus walks on water. The sermon tonight, searching for Jesus. Is that a good church pastor? Okay. How many married ladies we got in the room? Raise your hand if you're married. Ladies, don't forget the rubbing cell. It's a chance to get rid of those things not worth keeping around. Bring your husbands. <laughs> <laughs> now, brother, you're teaching this morning. There was a lot to it. A lot to it. So I wanted to share this with you because I think it ties in with what you were talking about. Don't let worry kill you off. Let the church help. <laughs> One more, since this is a Southern Gospel music scene. I, I, okay, Betty, you can use this one. Okay. You can use this one. All right. Like right now, Not yet. At the evening service tonight, the sermon topic will be, What is Hell? Come early and listen to the choir practice. 